good news. We finally have a statement from Intel on the Intel 13th and 14th gen CPU issues that have been plaguing a lot of people. Like for some organizations, it's like 100% fail rate. So we couldn't share this information until noon today. And so here, let me read it for you. And it is posted on Intel's like forums now as well. Based on extensive analysis of Intel Core 13th, 14th gen desktop processors returned to us due to instability issues, we have determined that elevated operating voltage is causing instability issues in some 13th, 14th gen desktop processors. Our analysis of returned processors confirms that the elevated operating voltage is stemming from a microcode algorithm resulting in incorrect voltage requests to the processor. Intel is delivering a microcode patch which addresses the root cause of exposure to elevated voltages. We are continuing validation to ensure that scenarios of instability reported to Intel regarding its core 13th, 14th gen desktop processors are addressed. Intel is currently targeting mid-August for patch release to, partner, uh, to partners following full validation. Intel is committed to making this right with our customers, and we continue asking any customers currently experiencing instability issues on their Intel core 13th and 14th gen desktop processors to reach out to Intel customer support for further assistance. Um, and uh, yeah, so I do wish that Intel was more proactive on continuously giving any information, like things that they're trying, things they're figuring out, because this is the basically the, the time for full transparency. Like if you just don't know, just say, hey, we're trying to figure it out. Oh, and we tried this and it's not that, or we're trying this and this is kind of working. Like we need more continuous updates because people are paying a lot of money for these processors. Um, so I know the Intel Core 14900K series, like the KF, KS, um, the 13900KS, KF, those are the main ones that were having issues. I guess it's sporadic for anything else. Now, I don't think that if you're going into the BIOS and just adjusting your voltages downward is going to make a huge difference. It may help, but when it comes to microcode stuff, sometimes it's actually, even if you have lowered your vo voltage, the microcode is suddenly telling it to do like bonkers stuff and therefore you get a crash. So it could be memory related, it could be all kinds of things related. Um, so if you're trying different things and it's working out and you've been having those issues, please let me know in the comments. And I have a bunch of 13, 14th gen processors, KS for the 14900K, uh, the K as well, the KF, wow, uh, the 13900KS, the 13900K. And I've only had blue screen of death on the i9, uh, Core i9 13900KS, but it's because I've also delitted it with liquid metal. So I wasn't sure if that was part of my process, but that blue screen of death only happened like four or five times since I've had that processor. So it's not too bad actually, uh, especially for a delitted, you know, liquid metal processor. So, all right, Intel, that's, I guess, some good news. We'll see in August and I'll definitely be, you know, patching all of my motherboards and all that stuff to make sure that this is actually working. And I'll get back to all my viewers uh, to let them know if I see any real differences on my end for that Core i9-13900KS that I have had a blue screen of death on.